Greetings and salutations, it is I, Serene Time. We are back again with a Plague Tale Requiem. In the last episode, well, you see that rubble right there? It, wow, that's crazy. I just realized in the beginning of the episode, I was like, that's Sophia's ship, and that might as well be the state of Sophia's ship right now. Uh, Arno, or not Arno, the Count somehow, you know, decided, hey, let's go around all these rats, you know, organize a ship and a party, and let's go after them. We have no way of knowing what direction they went, but let's just go and find them. I didn't even gloss about that in the end of the last episode. How did they know which way they were going? It doesn't make any sense. Because, I mean, like, I'm pretty, because, remember, it was, if I'm not mistaken, it was night time, right? So for them to have followed us between night to the daytime that it was when I started the game, that is crazy. But uh, Arno and uh, Misio. Misio got shot and Hugo was taken. Arno had to jump overboard to save both of us. And from the looks of it, we washed ashore somewhere because, you know, game I can't pause in between chapters, unfortunately. But um, if you guys are ready to hop into this episode, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and let's hop into a Plague Tale Requiem. Yeah, because he had, he had to rip that arrow out. I'm, I'm sorry. I was stuck. I had to pull us out or we'd be dead. We need to take him back. The Count knows what Hugo can do. We need to reach them before he hurts him even more. Let's go. Sophia and Lucas have gone ahead looking for horses. Thanks okay, so they're both a lot. My bad. <laughs> oh, no, my bad, Lucas. I forgot you were even on the ship. Because <laughs> in my eyes, it's like the person steering the ship was in the most immediate danger. I completely forgot about Lucas. My bad, Lucas. God damn it. The Count, did he say something? You broke his heart, so now he wants war. He said he'll use your brother to conquer. There'll be nothing left to conquer. I know. Severe and Lucas? Shaken, but fine. The boy, he's the one who cleaned your wound. He's good. They went to the wreck to find supplies. Oh, I'm so glad they're alive. They'll be happy to see you. Bro, Sophia has gone through so much. I feel so bad. Don't go reopening that wound. Yes. I think your potion is starting to work. To think I could have killed that bastard count. You couldn't win this one, Arno. Well, now I regret you not killing him in the first place. That's for damn sure. It's ruined. It'll never sail again. Boats come and go. But it's the sea that keeps Sophia going. You know what I mean. Focus on what matters to you. Because when it's gone. Yeah, the facial details right now. We'll get him back. Of a true knight, Arno. Why? Why? Bro, I saw hands. I'm like, Sophia? And now I'm hearing. I don't want to see your egghead butt. <laughs> you know, Amicia is probably already prepping her sling or crossbow to kill you. We could literally kill you, you're by yourself. I'll handle him. Like hell you will. Listen to me for once, you damn mule. 
Why? So you can have your revenge? So that you can save your brother. I'll make him tell us where Hugo is. Cover my ass and stay alive. Ooh, boss battle. I'll handle this one. Kill the girl. Hey, that's no fair. You have a armor fight. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You're not gonna call him a knight, and you're not even gonna give him armor or anything. I'm so lost. I did not see you there. Are you the one who hit me? Bro, it's just so hard to see people. Like, I'm, I don't know who to focus on. I feel bad that I can't help Arno. Alright. I see you up there now. And there's someone over there. Um. I, I wish you could. Let's craft it. I need to counter you. There we go. They didn't kill you? How much he is? You guys can't see, but my mouth is wide open. You're not going anywhere. I, I listen. I'm mad that you popped out, and I couldn't just. I should be able to stab you. I took her. Yeah, it should just be. Bro, I'm just so confused. Oh, this is this is where the annoying part of this game comes in because I can't see crap. Damn. I'm just suffering in silence right now. I'll cut to an arrival. Apparently if he hits me, I just die. <laughs> the shield guy is the one that's annoying me. Because there's no real fire. There's nothing like a real dude to blind him. Okay. He's blinded. God.
I am upset. There are plenty of reasons why I couldn't do much of nothing there. And one of them is just because I think this is the run. Oh wait, he's on fire. Anyway. Wow, that is. It's gonna be a major cut, I'll tell you that much. So, I'm paused right here, because um, that definitely took me like 20 minutes, and I'm not even sure if I'm done. I'm just paused right here, because I, I beat the last two people that were here, and it just came to my realization that uh, I could ignite their stuff, so that I can blind them with it. Please be the last guy. Oh no! Oh no! This is it! You're too old, oh no! Too old to fight! You're so goddamn stupid. Amicia is yours. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, this game's got jokes. <laughs> well, let's see the <laughs> be right back, I guess. Well, the good news is it started when I needed it to. Bad news is our node probably is dead now. Please don't. 
No. <laughs> Save your brother, Amicia. My energy's gone, by the way. I'm just. So next we just gotta lose Sophia, Lucas, and we're all we're all good guys. Cause that just seems to be the theme. Anybody that we meet. Can can we go back to the place where we met that boy? Pick up a sword. What the hell? She untied it so easily. I feel like you guys could have too. Unchecked. This is his judgment. Do we still have time? Does it matter? Let's just go. Make room. I will take the reins. I have to do something. Oh, the the least account is dead. That's that's all that matters, right? Not that I just spent twenty minutes doing an almost impossible boss fight. Amicia, are you all right? No, I could have. You couldn't. I don't even know how you're even standing. You did all you could, and he knew it, Amicia. Besides, you gave him what he needed most: the count's death. No. Someone to care for. A real purpose. Yes. Yes, he gave his life for us. I won't let it be for nothing. Now we need to find out where Hugo is. Oh, we know he's in Marseille. Marseille's a damn city. The burst of the nebula probably left marks. Whatever's happening over there, Hugo must be at the center of it. How can we know he's still alive? There'll be signs. I hope. Don't be I hoping now. We're way too deep into this. And these people are walking. They're not running. They are walking. They're just like eh, tremors. It's okay. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? There's no concern in his voice. He's just like, we have to find her and then we'll leave. Okay? It's like they're going to the store. Oh, now you guys are running. I love how none of them are showing any concern for us heading towards it. It is running. Side? What do you mean? Further on, but that hay is in the way. Wait, we have this cannon. You know how it works? I don't know. Wait, you push here. But that must be it. I've figured it out, I think. Go on then. Ah! Whoa! Is that a Greek flag? 
Yes, the Count recovered some carts built by the Order. So we're going behind these walls? Don't think about it now. Let's go, Sophia. Here we go again. <laughs> I wonder how you steer horses to tell them to go left or right. Random thought I just had. I'm trying to regain energy, because that, that was just very annoying. I'll burn all this fire. I... Bro, this is like, this would be a really nice joyride. Like, imagine just being in a, oh my god, like a 4D theater? Let's go. I would have so much fun in this. This could be legitimately a horror thing. God, Hugo. Looks like it. I can't even say Hugo. Okay, well, let's strike off. Come on, come on. Let's cross off Hugo and, 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 and not Hugo, Lucas and Sophia. That's dead now. Please don't tell me we died. We can't have a repeat of, of what happened to Vasilius. Yep. Yep. I don't see too much blood. Who's not? Oh, there's the way into the city. I've never been to Marseille. Oh. We came in the loveliest season. Oh, no right. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, that kind of stuff. Find my brother. Dope. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm really glad- King Hugo, that is... That is ominous. No, you can't- I, I can't even express how happy I am that that was not part of the episode. God, that boss fight took so much out of me, and then when I finally completed- Like, I wasn't- I don't even think I was- No, I, I did kill the last guy, and then I paused. But when I finally beat it, I, I was so satisfied and happy. Then the game said, <laughs> We see you smiling over there. You just beat the boss fight. <laughs> I think at the very last minute, it auto saved. So that way, when I restarted the game, it, it started me at that chapter. But my God, I should let the Count talk more. I think it would have been entertaining. But I was also pissed off that he started all this in the first place. But that's going to end today's episode. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like for my stress, for my relief. All right. My god, I have a, I think I just got a headache from all that. They just they, Bro, you're not even gonna see half the deaths that happened just because they would come up behind me. Like I literally had to take the headset off because I was like, okay. I need to focus, not I sound is not a way to get me. If you're to the right of me, I'll look left. But this is crazy. And it, it is Hugo jumping to conclusions. I know when Amicia got shot, she kind of just like, Ugh. she did that whole I'm dead pose and whatnot. But I think Hugo should have had a lot more faith in his sister. Because his sister has literally gone through so much. Uh, I, I, I think that was just a, judge, a jump to conclusion by Hugo. I think that people need to stop being delusional. You literally saw this kid control rats after his mother died. And you're like, let me take him away from his only living relative at the moment. Because we did hear that his father died. So, you know, yeah. Let's take him away from his last living relative and see what happens after that. After all, when he killed his mom, he killed my wife. So, 
Great idea. Processing power at a thousand percent. I don't know, man. It's just like some people just are really blinded by certain things. It was this this episode was just spicy. R.I.P. to Arno. <sighs> we said we had you for all of two episodes, so that was cool, I guess. I mean, at least you got to fight the count and whatnot, so that was cool. But kind of sucks that you had to die. Not that he would have lived that. I feel like he would have died in that rubble, to be honest. But I mean, like, who didn't die? And like last in the last game, it was their dad, the dog. Dog was the first to go. Then the dad. Then the um, who was it? Else? Who next was it? Uh. I don't think there were any real deaths up until um, Melly's brother. Then came Big Brawny Dude, and that was it. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then the the Order, uh, the Inquisition top hat. And a lot of people died, but we're following the same thing. But the deaths here, I feel like, are just so much more impactful. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But uh, I'll see you in the next one. This is going to be Shereen Tai signing off. Bye-bye.